super warm week here. It is beautiful out. So please get outside as much as you can. It's amazing what the sun does for our little heads. Um, we're going to start programming a lot more workouts that can be done outside. Actually, most of these workouts can be done outside. So um, feel free to just write it down on a little piece of paper or a clipboard or something and take them outside because it's very good for our little souls. Um, so today's question from Alana. What advice would you give to your 20-year-old self? Um, hmm. I think I would give myself a couple of words of wisdom. One, I would say wear sunscreen. I didn't used to wear sunscreen because I used to think that the chemicals in sunscreen were worse than the effects of the sun. I still am on the fence on that, but whatever. I think sunscreen is probably a good idea. Um, and just uh, embrace Whatever gut feelings you have, I think, follow those gut feelings. I think those are usually right. And if they're not right for everybody, they're right for you. So that's my word of wisdom. Uh, today we have, why well, do one workout when you could do two workouts? It's kind of a theme going around. Uh, there's also a theme for this week. Um, we have noticed that sometimes we get in these little trends when we're programming. Um, and so this week the trend is hip presses. So you will probably find hip presses in most of our workouts this week because they're fun. Um, your first part of the workout, so part A is five rounds of 20 pullovers, 40 hip presses, and 60 squats. Okay, so five rounds of that. That'll be nice and quick. We'll just buzz through that, no problem. So all you need is a dumbbell, a paint can, um, a bottle of bleach, a juice bottle, clamato, cat, whatever, something that's weighted, a uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, all those things work, a plate, whatever. Um, and then the second round, of course, there's no rest between the first uh, part and the second part, because that's silly, is another five rounds, and we're going to do 20 hand release push-ups, 40 single arm rows, 20 per side, and 60 split lunges, 30 per side. And that's it. So 10 rounds, five rounds of each, that's it. So we're going to start by doing our 20 pullovers. Um, so you can do these on a couch, a coffee table, uh, just putting your back on a chair, a um, bench, box, anything that you have that you can lay down on and have your shoulders just at the very top edge of it. That's what we want. Okay? I'm going to start the timer just so we know approximately where we're at for time. All right, so we have 20 of those pullovers. So you're just going to lay yourself down across your chair or coffee table or whatever you're using, your head off the end, arms stay straight, bring it into an extension over your head as far as you can get it. Keep that core tight. You're pulling with your lats. Okay, so these muscles. And we've got 20 of these to do. Keep your head neutral. Really think about pulling with the lat, lat muscles or those muscles, your back muscles underneath your armpits. That's 10.
keep that back nice and upright. If you have trouble keeping your back upright, get yourself a little window to look through. Fifteen. That's twenty-five. Almost halfway. Thirty-five. Fifteen more. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Good job. Keep going. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Just over three minutes. Let's get back onto those pullovers. So laying on your back, we can probably speed things up a little bit. Now we know the movement. All right, 20 of these. Five, rolling with the last. Ten. That's 15. And 20. Good job. On to that hip press. Back on the box or the bench or the couch. Let's go. Three, four. Ten. Halfway, that's 20. Nine, 
18, 19, 20. Let's go on to those hip presses. This is our third round, guys. Almost done. Good, let's go. Good job. Squeeze that butt up to the roof. 15. Keep going halfway. Next day. 
three, five. Forty. Twenty more. Forty-nine. Fifty. Ten more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Last round of this, guys, and then we're on to our next one. Ready? Pull overs. Let's go. Core tight. Use as heavy of a, as a weight as you would like here. That's 10. Maybe 30. I'm going to write it on the board. 30. Alive. 30. 20, 40, 30. That's what we're doing. Those split lunges will get really gross if we go. All right. So, 20 hands of these push ups on the half of these push ups. Make sure that you're taking your belly button off the floor first. So, when you do your push up, elbow crotches are forward, body's nice and tight. When we come down, we release our hands. But we think about pulling the belly button off the floor first. Belly button thighs, then we push up. Okay, if you need to go to your knees, same rules apply. If we're not at the point of doing good, strong uh, push ups yet, go off an elevated surface and do your push ups from here. Try to get your chest right to that surface though. And again, not letting yourself stay here. Okay, hand release push ups. We have 20. Let's go. One. Belly button off first. Five. Uh, 
That's 10. If you need to, you can switch to your knees like that. That's 15. I have to shake these out halfway through next time. And that's 20. Good job. For that single arm row, you're going to put your hand on something. So it can be a couch, a chair, coffee table, anything so that you can keep that back straight. We don't want to get rounded here. Okay, back nice and straight. We're keeping our elbow close to our body. And we're going to row 20 on one arm, 20 on the other. Four, five. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Switching arms. Okay, you ready? Back nice and straight. Elbow towards your body. Good. Four. Ten. Fifteen. And that's 20. Perfect. We're doing 30. Split lunges total. 15 per leg. So your back toe is going to go on a stair or a couch or a coffee table or a chair. Hop that front toe forward so that this knee is not riding in front of the toe. Think about dropping the back knee, not bending the front knee forward. Okay, we have 15 on this side. Screw that foot into the floor. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think this was a wise choice. All right, we have fifteen here. Ready? Let's go. Ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very wise choice. See, you guys are guinea pigs, just like us. We haven't done this workout before. All right, 20 hand release push ups. Ready? Elbows tucking in closer to your body. Ready? Let's go. Look at something about a foot in front of your eyes so that you don't drop your head down. Five. And shake it out at 10. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it out. I do a lot of push ups lately. All right, ten more. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm down to my knees. Eight, nine, Oh, these are hard. 10. Good job. All right. 40 rows. 20 on each side. Bend over and back straight. Kind of stick your butt back and out to get that back straight. Let's go. Elbow beside you. 10. 13. 15. Switch arms, back straight. Ten. Oh, sorry, we're doing forty. My bad. Hang on. We still got ten on the other side. Or five on the other side. One, two, three, four. That's twenty on that side. I did fifteen on this side. Sorry. Three. Four and five. Feet up work. All right, now we have 15 per side on these suckers. Ready? Let's go. Keep that core tight. Back up right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, you can 
always make those harder by holding weight if you want. Crazy talk. Let's go. One, two, three. Keep going. Good, belly button first. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, you guys. Shake it out. Another method for this is do one for your feet, one for your knees, one for your feet, one for your knees, and complete the round that way. Rather than just trying to burn out on your feet and go to your knees, gives you a teeny break in between. Ready? Ten more. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoo, and ten. Good job. Okay, forty rows. Twenty per arm. Don't screw up. Oh no, that's me. Myself tough. Ready? Back straight. 20, let's go. Elbow close. Head neutral. There's 10. Push-ups is the only hard, hard part. Right, Ryan St. Jean? Probably easier if you were wearing jeans. Ready? Ten of them? Let's go. Remember, belly button off first. That's five. That's ten. Terrible. I'm gonna do five. I try for my feet the whole time, but do five and then shake. Let's go. Four and five. Four. All right, ready? Five more. One, two, three, four. And five. And then I feel them again on this. Ah, Twenty on each arm. Ready? Back straight. Go. Ten. Twenty. Good, switch arms. Whatever kind of weight you're using for this is fine. Kettlebell, beach jug, whatever. That's five. Keep the back straight. Ten. Fifteen. 
20. Everyone, Alana and I were talking about this workout, thinking it wasn't going to be so bad. That was a fool. Ready? Let's go 15. I like tension each time. 10. And 15. We're at 29 minutes. This is perfect for a home workout. All right, last set of push ups. Five, 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 okay? Let's go. Good, shake it out. Right back. Shake it out, that's 10. I'm going between alternating between feet, knees, feet, knees. Works fun. Five more. Woo. Not working so well anymore. This last five, I'll try. All right, ready? Let's go. So spicy. All right, back straight, 20 each arm. Let's go. Really reach each time. And fifteen. Eleven. Fifteen. And twenty. Last thirty. Fifteen on each leg. Ready? Go. Nine. Awesome. It was harder than I thought it was going to be, but it was awesome. Thanks for playing along with us. Have an amazing week. Join us every day for a new workout. And uh, yeah, just get outside, guys. We love you. We miss you. See you tomorrow.